Hello guys, uh, this is Varun Tafkroshi again with a new video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Palo Alto into an EVNG VMware workstation, right? Uh, so the EVNG uh, community, uh, community edition is already installed into my workstation and uh, the uh, GUI is this one and for this you need the QCOV2 file for that this is the link I'll be uh, like putting this link in the description so here you can go and download this Palo Alto 7 or 8 so for this uh, uh, example I'll be using Palo Alto 8 so I have already downloaded the Palo Alto 8 image and that should be into my folder that is this one UNG map images chemo and then Palo Alto yeah so I'll be using the 8 dot image and you have the virtual dot cow 2 file so uh, this image you need to put inside your EVNG file system so you need to go to the uh, login to your EVNG vo uh, virtual machine this is the, uh, the IP of my virtual machine you can see here triple one and then using Venus CPU or FileZilla you can log into the file system and go to this folder OPG unit lab add-on schema here you can create a new uh, folder with the name Palo Alto dash and the version or uh, you can just copy paste the file that you downloaded so I'll drag and drop this here and wait for this file to be copied inside my file system and uh, uh, for the time being I'll just pause my video so that I can resume when the uh, uh, copy has been completed so guys the file is almost uh, copied into my EVNG yeah it's done so next what you need to do is you need to uh, enter this command into your EVNG CLI for that I'll run a putty session to my EVNG virtual machine that is 192.168.1.111 and log in as as uh, is the issue here it should come up root eve yeah ping it yeah I'm able to ping so I'll check this again I think okay the IP address is strong so I'll put it again into my virtual machine 192.168.1.111 yes this is working so I'll go to root and EVE so here I need to copy paste this command that is this one and I need to paste it here and I hit enter so once this is executed I need to go to my um, event topology I'll right click and add the node and the node should be here as Palo Alto yeah it's, it's here 8.5 I need only four interfaces you can change the interfaces from here I'll keep the RAM as 4 gigs, save, I'll add a network node here and a bridge to my management cloud so that I can access my management from my laptop and also I can reach the internet right so I'll keep one interface as the outside and one as the management or you can say the untrust is my ethernet mode slash one and my management is connected to the uh, network right I'll start the Palo Alto and I'll double click and run the ultra V and C and I'll wait for this to boot up and for the timing I'll pause my video so guys that my VM uh, Palo Alto sorry my Palo Alto is uh, booted up and I'll wait for this screen to be changed uh, because my uh, credentials will not work the username is admin and password is uh, admin but this will not work so guys you have to wait a bit longer and until the next screen comes up I'll just pause the video and again resume when the screen comes up so again guys this is another uh, screen that will come up and, and and this screen will also not work so you need to be patient and see it's not working so you need to again wait for a while I'll again pause the video and resume when the next screen comes up 
so guys this is the screen I have got again I'll try this admin and the password admin here should work it's not working admin password admin hit enter and it's not working and you need to wait a bit longer uh, so guys I am finally in, in after a very very long time I had to uh, wait for this uh, screen to come up admin and admin is the password and once you are inside this you need to set up the IP address of your EVE uh, sorry of your Palo Alto management interface for that the command is set device config set uh, system device config uh, okay I need to know it set and then system and then setting right and then setting and so guys uh, this is 8 dollar version I forgot that so uh, by default it's taking IP from the DSCP you can see with the command show interface management that the management has taken a IP address from the DHCP is from the range of 192.168.1.6 and uh, you can see that management is a bridge to my network so I'll be able to ping this IP address from my uh, command prompt of my PC so I'll go to my C um, the command prompt and I'll to, I will try to ping this IP of uh, 192.168.1.6 so 192.168.1.6 is the IP that I want to ping. Uh, I'll use the ping and I'm um, able to ping the IP. So I'll go here and uh, run an HTTPS uh, colon mac 192.168.1.6 and the uh, uh, like prompt will be like this because it's using a self-signed certificate. No need to worry. Advance and proceed and save and here you need to type in admin admin which is the default username and password and log in once you're inside it will prompt you that the device is still configured with the uh, default password you can change later on it's okay so here you can go and now what you need to do is you need to add the dns server and the default route for the management interface to reach internet right for that you, know, you can just uh, you can just go to the uh, network segment uh, here you have the ethernet 1 slash 1 which we can you uh, configure as the outside or untrust uh, interface but uh, in this uh, video I'm just going to configure the management interface to reach to the internet for that you need to go to the management uh, tab uh, sorry device tab and in the device tab you need to go to the uh, let's check is it the interface no uh, to the services tab and you can just check here that the primary DNS server is empty you can go with 8.8.8 .8 .8 and secondary 4.2.2.2 .2 and that's it for the DNS done and the operations you need not go anywhere and and that's that's how you configure the DNS and this is wildfire you don't need it uh, this is the sessions and for the management you need to go for the general settings and you can see a, a, uh, on general setting you can just click here and yeah this is the domain and all so this is the uh, only setting which you need to change is the uh, services you need to configure the uh, DNS and also you can use uh, in the service or configuring you can use management for all the uh, um, uh, uh, control plane traffic right so you have the management interface here you can use static IP from here but as of now I am using DHCP and the ping is enabled HTTPS and SSH is enabled I'll select OK or even if I change the IP address from here I can do that if say for example I'll change the IP address to 192.168.1.200 1 
uh, net mask would be 255.255.255.0 IP default gateway would be 161.1 uh, and I don't need this I don't need this and okay and once I commit this change I should lose the connectivity to the uh, GUI right so uh, I'll not be able to refresh this because the management is gone and the management now will be available on 192 no it's still there and did the did the commit was was the commit successful no it was not successful i think so so let's check if it was successful go to management and i can go to our uh, service and i'll check the uh, servers right or I can go to this and check the uh, address of my management so it's 200 right so why it's showing like that so I think it's I am not able to reach because I can see that these uh, the options are not refreshing so I'll go to the 200 advance proceed right admin and admin from here I can check that the uh, if my if my uh, this uh, uh, firewall is able to ping uh, the internet right ping 8.8.8.8 okay the syntax is wrong I should be ping host I think yeah yes so my PC is able to reach the internet uh, sorry not the PC this is my firewall and also if I ping the uh, URL let's see dot google will the address be resolved ok it should not be host I think it should be just this no and I can try this ping and then help host and then again value host name or IP address host name yeah I can host name is there so I can do that no unknown host I think the DNS is not updated I'll go and check inside my uh, so CLI is this one and services DNS is updated right so my DNS should work ping host www.google.com unknown host so do I have the default gateway set here I need to go to the management and I should see the IP address somewhere here so if I change the host name and it's not there and authentication no logging this is for the logging panorama servers banners operation so this is interface management it's enabled and it's static and I have my default gateway set for 101 so I can reach the internet yeah you can I can see I can reach the internet right so everything is working fine then I should be able to reach my internet right ping ok ok I should use this source I think ping host www.google.com then source I think no. pink source what source address of the echo request so it will be 192.168.1.200 going to where going to host host going to host 
dot so I'll go to the DNS server it's reaching like this but I need to see if I can reach the uh, URL let's try Facebook facing some issues with my DNS server anyways uh, this is how you configure uh, add the uh, Palo Alto and Eve and then connect it to the internet so guys uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos related to other devices how to add them to Eve and uh, thanks for watching my video bye bye